Hi, this is Ricky, and I got a fantastic email the other day. Um, Leechy looks like they have an update to test, and they have added waypoint mode for the Mavic Mini 1. Um, that's the Mavic Mini that I have. I've been waiting for this feature for a very, very long time. So I went to flyleechy.com. I'm going to go to the Mission Hub. I'm going to go find the track field where I do a lot of my flying, and I'm just going to make a mission really quickly. Um, one of the reasons I think that the Waypoint missions is so beneficial is you can fly the same flight path again and again. Okay, so I made just a quick little square mission. Um, I kind of do this a lot. makes makes life really, really pretty easy. So it's gonna. Um, I'm gonna take off from here. The drone is gonna fly this way. It's gonna be pointing this way, and then it's going to turn. One of the things that I really like about Lychee is the fact that it does this little curve. So it's gonna make a smooth turn this way. It's gonna make a smooth turn this way, and then a smooth turn this way. And then one of the settings that I did is I just kind of like it to keep flying over and over and over. So um, this last one, I don't know if you notice, the little paper airplane is kind of facing the wrong way. So all I'm going to do is on this last one, because I know it's going to come back to one, I'm just going to change its heading. Oh, well, let me change its heading. That stinks. So this is what I got. So I went into the setting and I changed the heading to auto. So that means whatever direction it's flying, that's which way it's going to go. I like the curved lines. Um, I'm making my cruising speed just 10 miles an hour, just pretty small. Um, so these are my initial settings. And what you can do when you finish, you can either have it do nothing. Um, return to home, I think, is one that's very, very smart. Um, Land might be a good one, um, but I like to go back to number one. That way, I can get my um, phone out, and then I can speak. I can keep um, recording. So this is what it, mine's going to do. It's going to fly this, make a nice little curve, make a nice little curve, make a nice little curve, and then stop here. And then it's going to go to one. Now that I've made my mission and I'm good, I just need to save it. So I'm going to hover over missions. I'm going to click save. And then I'm going to save it. It says it wants me to avoid names such as test, which is that was the exact thing that I want to do. So I'm just going to say HMS Waypoint Test. Hmm. Looks good to me. And then I'm going to hit save. So that way, when I go to missions and I go to open, you're going to see all my previous missions that I have. And then I'm going to have one that says... HMS waypoint test, and then when I get to um, the field, I'm just going to upload it to my Mavic Mini, and then I'm going to see how it works. All right, here I am at the field with my DJI Mavic Mini and my controller. I just flew one of the first missions, so again, I'm going to Open this up. I'm going to go to where it says HMS Waypoint Test, then hit Load. Then I hit the little Play button. And then it says Start Mission, and I'm going to click Start Now. And it takes off. Transmitter still on the ground. Recording started. 97 feet altitude, 206 feet distance, 6 miles per hour, 86% battery.
99 feet altitude, 468 feet distance, 9 miles per hour, 85% battery. Testing something. 98 feet altitude, 299 feet distance, 10 miles per hour, 84% battery. So it looks like now that it's back to position number one. 98 feet altitude. 247 feet distance, again. 0 miles per hour, 82% battery. And it'll start the mission again. Now, this is something that I'm kind of afraid to do, but I'm going to simulate turning off the transmitter. So let me get this. 99 feet altitude, 465 okay, feet ways. distance, 10 miles per hour. 81% battery. My transmitter to see what happens. Okay, my transmitter is off. And it looks like the drone Morning. stopped. Morning, disconnected. The drone stopped. So it did not finish the mission. So I'm gonna... Oh, nope, so I turned it off. So it looks like if you lose signal, the drone is going to return home. Let's see how well it does. All right, the grass is really tall, so I'm gonna have to move this thing. Warning, disconnected. One second, Landon. There's my transmitter. With the transmitter turned off, it returned home successfully. So now you know what happens if you lose radio signal. It does not seem to complete the mission, unless I have a setting wrong. I may very well have a setting wrong. I think maybe by turning off the transmitter, it's not the same thing as losing radio signal. Maybe because Leachy couldn't detect the transmitter, then it went into return to home. I don't know. I don't know if I'll ever be able to check the waypoint if I go out too far because the Mavic's got really good range and I usually don't fly out that far. I know I've done it with a Phantom Pro and also the Phantom Standard. It would lose range after about 500 feet. So I hope this helps.